Thanks for joining me today. This is a quick run through on how to log in and use Google Drive. Uh, we had a previous video about how to use Google Drive, but it's just something that's changed recently within the past year, and we wanted to update that video. So uh, if you have never logged into Google Drive, you will need to access your Google account that has been provided by the school district. In order to log in, you just go to drive.google.com and once you log in, you'll be taken to this screen that we see here. Now, Google Drive, for those of you that may not be familiar, is cloud storage, but it's also document creation. Now, think about all those extra flash drives that you have hanging around your desk with files, and you take them with you to and from different offices, classrooms, and different places, and uh, think about having to never worry about that again. Google Drive allows you to take your files with you wherever you have access to the internet. On the document creation side, you also have the ability to create different documents such as a doc similar to a Microsoft Word document, sheets similar to Microsoft Excel, or slides similar to PowerPoint. But in addition to that, you also have the ability to create forms, and you can use Google Drawings, which is similar to using Paint. And you also have hundreds to thousands of other apps that you can add to your Google Drive account that make productivity and document creation much easier. Well, that's a little bit quick, so let's, uh, let's back up a little bit and take this a little bit more slowly. And let's explain what you're looking at as you look at your Google Drive account here. At the top here, if you wanted to create a document you can click the new button but you also have the ability to add folders this allows you to create a file management system to place all your files in the places that you need them to be if you already have files on your computer that you'd like to add to your google drive account you can in a district account for a google apps for education district you have 30 gigabytes of storage with a standard free account you have about 15 gigabytes of storage to upload a file, you just click File Upload and you can search on your computer for the files or you can also just drag and drop your files directly onto your Drive account. Here I have a file that I'd like to drag over so I'm just going to click, hold and drag it over and because it is a Word document, I want to be able to work on this in my Google Drive account. So what I can do is one of two things, I can either double click on this file and then go to the top and click edit with Google Docs and it will convert that file so that I can edit and use it. Or the other option I have is to go back to my Drive account and go to my settings, which is over here on the top right. If I click on settings, I can change the option for converting uploads so that it automatically converts files from Word to Google Docs or from Excel to Sheets or PowerPoint to Slides. Once you click that option and click done, then let's take a look at what that looks like when I add that same file back onto Drive. I'm going to delete these files from my Drive account. I'm going to go back and now I'm going to drag that file over for upload again. And as you can see here at the bottom, it says uploads completed and it's also been converted because it's already a Google Doc. Now when I double click on it, it's already available for editing. Now, in addition to uploading files, you can also share files. For instance, if I wanted to share this file with another teacher, I can just right click and hit share, and then I can add the email address of the teacher that I'd like to share that file with. If you'd like more information on sharing files or sharing folders, which is even better, go to my YouTube channel and check out my videos there. And consequently, if someone has shared files with you, they will show up in the shared with me folder. You also have Google Photos and as you use photos on Google Plus or if you'd like to upload photos to your Google Drive account they will appear here. You can also view recently viewed files in the order that they were viewed and you can also mark some files as favorites. By starring files you can have quicker access to them. Now this is great if you have a large number of file folders and a huge file management system. It just allows you to star a file and get quick access to it later without having to dig through all your file folders to find it. Well that's just a quick rundown on how to use Google Drive. If you have questions, 
Please refer to several of the other videos that I have available on my YouTube channel or contact me. Thanks for joining me today.